against Pfizer, which made the vaccine, never even tested to see if it prevented the transmission of COVID. What? You think they would know that since Tony Fauci and everyone in the U.S. government and everyone in your kid's school and everyone on television and Joe and all the rest of them knew for a fact that Pfizer did Well, Tucker, you are blowing my mind right now. Are you telling me that the Pfizer clinical trial, which was specifically designed to test for safety and efficacy of the vaccines, didn't also test to see if it prevented transmission against the virus? What's worse is that they managed to keep it a secret this whole time, and now we're only finding out about it? I mean, this clinical trial right here, which was published in the New England Journal in December of 2020, the one that had a limitation section where it said that they still needed to test whether the vaccine protects against asymptomatic infection and transmission to unvaccinated persons. <gasps> now, Tucker, this is what we call sarcasm, because this doesn't come as a shock to any of us who actually read the clinical trial when it came out almost two years ago. But what the trial did show was that it was 95% effective at preventing you from getting COVID with the circulating variant at that time. And Tucker, I don't know if you know this, but you can't transmit a virus that you don't catch. That's weird. I'm sure Tucker Carlson and his show's researchers did their research. That's all I heard during the throes of the pandemic was his viewers saying they did their own research. This makes me question if Tucker Carlson tonight is actually a news program. I'm not great at sarcasm. Dr. Eric B., who created the TikTok that I showed at the beginning of this video, is a doctor who clearly displays studies and data. And look, yeah, mRNA vaccines prevented hospitalizations, ICU stays, and death, which is what it was designed to do. Anecdotally, the nurse who gave me my COVID vaccine told me that I could still get COVID. The mainstream media isn't reporting this because this was already known. Pfizer said they didn't know if the vaccine stopped transmission. They didn't say that it did not stop transmission. A certain segment of the population chose not to get vaccinated. Tucker isn't one of them, by the way, which is evident in the fact that red states and Fox News viewers died at higher rates from COVID than those in blue states and who don't regularly watch Tucker. You know, there's this passage from a Forbes article written more than two years ago that I keep in my phone as a reminder on days where I want to cut corners in order to spread propaganda to my millions of viewers on the country's most viewed cable program. You know what it's like. Anyways, it goes a little something like this. When most of us research an issue, what we are actually doing is formulating an initial opinion the first time we hear about something, evaluating everything we encounter after that through that lens of our gut instinct, finding reasons to think positively about the portions of the narrative that support or justify our initial opinion, and finding reasons to discount or otherwise dismiss the portions that detract from it. So... And let's not pretend that there haven't been a bunch of studies that have been published since the original clinical trial came out, which show that the vaccines were effective at preventing the transmission of SARS-CoV-2 against the circulating variants at that time. So once again, this huge Pfizer bombshell is nothing more than a dud if you actually understand how science works and if you actually could have been bothered to read the clinical trial data when it came out two years ago. This isn't a big secret, it isn't a conspiracy, it isn't a huge cover-up, it isn't mass genocide, it isn't a crime against humanity. Um, this all could have been avoided if you actually could have been bothered to read the science and not just run with conspiracy theories. So uh, I hope this has been enlightening. Tucker is fear-mongering. That's what this is. So either Tucker didn't actually do his research or he knows the truth and he's lying. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel. We're going to be all right. Thanks for watching.